Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Summer's coming up and now's the perfect time to go ahead and protect your ride. And I'm not just talking about the outside, I'm talking about the inside as well. So that's the topic of today's video. We're gonna go and show you guys what products and why you should go ahead and use these products to protect your interior from the harsh UV rays of summer to come. So when it comes down to exterior, you have a lot of different surfaces that you want to go ahead and protect. Just because your interior surfaces are a lot more delicate than your exterior surfaces. So to begin with, we are working with a little bit of vinyl, some plastic here. We are working with some leather as well on the interior. We do want to protect our fabrics, such as our carpets and our floor mats. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today. How to go ahead and address all these areas so that they're protected from the harsh UV rays. Before I go any further, I do want to mention that we have already cleaned the surfaces that we're working on today beforehand. We cleaned the door panel right here with Nonsense and one of our brushes from the All the Details brush set. Our leather with leather cleaner and our leather cleaning brush. And we also cleaned our fabric with Lightning Fast and the Nifty Carpet Brush. The reason we're saying to clean it is because you want to make sure that there's no oils, grime, or any kind of body oils that's on the surface that's going to interfere with your bond of the application of the product. So to make sure that you have the best shine and durability for your products, you wanna make sure that you clean the surface with the proper chemicals. All right, so let's get into it. So the first product we're gonna be using today is gonna be VRP. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have used this product before. A lot of you guys use this as a tire shine. Did you know that you can actually use this on your interior as well? This is a water-based dressing that delivers a high shine finish. So VRP is gonna go ahead and protect any kind of vinyl, rubber, and plastic, hence VRP. So that's gonna go ahead and condition and protect not only your tires, but any kind of vinyl, rubber, or other plastic surfaces around your vehicle, inside or out. So like I said, we've already cleaned the surface, now all you gotta do is apply it. So the way to apply VRP is, you wanna make sure that you get the best spread possible. So what I like to do is, I apply a few drops, I usually do about four drops, kind of between the corner and the middle of the pad, and then I like to kind of spread that out with my finger, just to make sure that when I set this down, especially like in an area right here where there's kind of like a, an edge, you don't want to make, you don't want your product to kind of all seep into that edge and then kind of render it useless and, you know, have a tough time trying to clean it out afterwards with the microfiber towel. So make sure to spread it on your applicator. And this is going to go ahead and soak up into all the microfiber fibers so that you have the best spread possible. So once you do that, you're going to go ahead and apply it. And right away, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is already delivering a high shine difference. So that shine, it's a pretty much a clear indication that your surface is protected. So if you're, you know, your interior surfaces look kind of bare, that kind of, you know, just shows that there's nothing on there, which, you know, you may want to go ahead and apply something on there, unless you're using a dressing such as natural shine, which delivers no shine at all. So that's, that would be more of a conditioner slash protectant. So we do have different products, you know, VRP is a high shine. I prefer the high shine for my interior. But like I said, if you have a difference in preference of shine, if you like a light shine, I would say go with silk shine. If you like no shine at all, then go with natural shine. And that's just gonna go ahead and condition and protect the surface from the harsh UV rays so that it doesn't get damaged, it doesn't get burnt out, it doesn't get faded, and it doesn't crack. You know, that's extremely key when it comes to maintaining the condition of your interior, just because, you know, not a lot of people think about it, but your interior is probably one of the areas that gets the most harsh UV rays, especially right here, this door panel right here. You know, if it weren't for those window tints, those UV rays would pretty much penetrate this door panel and eat this up and, you know, cause all this right here to kind of have a faded look within just a couple of years. So just make sure that you apply your dressing. Once you kind of feel that your, you know, your dressing isn't really giving you as much of an even spread, then you can go ahead and reapply some more product. You can go ahead and boost it with just two more drops. And like I said, you can go ahead and spread that out with your finger just to make sure that you get a nice even spread. And like I said, this is gonna protect your interior from those harsh UV rays from drying it out. And it's very easy to do. It's very satisfying to do actually, you know, just to go ahead and make sure that all this is protected and conditioned. All right guys, so now that we're done, I did get this little edge. Don't forget that little edge. A lot of people always forget it. Just make sure to coat that as well. So now that we're done, you guys can see that the door panel is nice, it's conditioned, it looks like brand new again. And the cool thing is, as shiny as it may look, it doesn't have a greasy feel. If you actually touch it with your fingers, you'll see that it doesn't leave any kind of oily finish. It's a dry to the touch finish. So you're not gonna be slipping and sliding around whenever you're putting your arm on your armrest right here. 
Like I said, you can apply this to your door panels and not only that, but to your dashboard as well. You know, as you can imagine, your dashboard is probably the area that gets the most UV rays just because it's flat and it's right there against the windshield. All those UV rays are pretty much penetrating that surface all day, you know, whenever your car is outdoors. All right guys, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to our next surface, which is leather. We've already cleaned the leather with our leather cleaner and seeing that the car is on the newer side and that the owner takes care of the leather, the leather is nice and conditioned. It's nice and smooth and it's soft and it's not dry or cracking. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply something that's gonna protect it from those harsh UV rays and that's gonna be our leather protectant serum. Now, as opposed to leather conditioner, Leather protectant serum actually has more UV protectors, so it's gonna go ahead and block more UV rays from penetrating the finish of your leather. So think of it as like, think of this as like a sealant for your leather. So that's gonna go ahead and protect it from any kind of grime and body oils from building up onto the surface and you know ultimately protecting it from the harsh UV rays, especially if you have your car parked outside all day. And another reason I like this product is because it leaves a dry to the touch finish and it does leave an original finish. So if you have a brand new car and you just simply want to maintain the look of the leather and protect it at once, this is going to go ahead and maintain that fresh new look and protect it from harsh UV rays. Now to use this product, as you guys may already know, same thing here, all you want to do is apply a few drops. And since this is more surface that we're working on, I'm going to go ahead and apply four bigger drops. Well, we'll do one more right in the middle. We'll set that down and as you guys can see, this is perforated leather. So this leather does have all the holes in it. So we wanna make sure that we don't get the product in those holes. And how do you do that? You wanna make sure that you apply the product properly into the microfiber strands of your microfiber applicator. You don't wanna go you know, head on like that with those dots of product because as soon as you do that, all that product is gonna fall within those holes and you're gonna have a hard time getting it out. So make your life easier, work it into the microfiber applicator and then apply it to the surface. And then just like that, you're just gonna go ahead and apply it. Now right away, as you guys can see on camera, it's leaving a shiny finish. You know, I, I did just say that it doesn't leave a shiny finish, but that's just because the product is a liquid-based product and as, as you're applying it, it's gonna go on shiny but within a minute or two minutes or so, it's gonna go ahead and dull down and it's gonna leave the original nice, you know, condition of the leather without leaving a high shine kind of look. But I mean, unless you like that kind of high shine look, I would say apply leather conditioner first and then top it off with the coat of the leather serum. And just like that, get it in between all the cracks and make sure you get it on the bolsters as well. You don't wanna have any areas, you know, uncoated. And I'm gonna leave it like that. We'll come back to it in a second. That's gonna go ahead and seep into the leather and leave that protective sealant behind to protect it from those harsh UV rays. So just like that, check it out. There are still some areas that are not fully you know, bonded yet, but for the most part, you can see right here towards the middle, it leaves a nice OEM finish. It doesn't leave a high shine, kind of like how this is still curing right here. High shine versus the OEM finish right there. I hope you guys can catch that on camera. I mean, you can definitely tell in person, but like I said, leather serum, that's gonna be your ultimate protectant and your sealant for your leather from those harsh UV rays. Especially in the summer, you know, you're gonna get those harsh rays. And if you live in an area that has, you know, a lot of sunlight, you know, you best make sure that your leather is protected to, you know, protect your investment. All right, so now that we're done with the leather, it's time to move on to our next product, and that is FabriGuard. If you haven't heard about this product, this product works out amazing at protecting any fabric or upholstery surfaces. So if let's say your seats aren't leather and they're you know, fabric or any kind of upholstery material, this is what you're gonna go ahead and use to protect it from those harsh UV rays. I know a lot of you guys know this product as the product that makes the water bead onto the fabric surfaces, which is completely true, but not a lot of people know that it actually has UV protection properties as well. So not only do you get that awesome beading effect onto your fabric surfaces, but you also get that UV protection, especially when you have, you know, fabric seats, you know, I know the carpets down here really may not matter so much just because they don't really get too much UV rays, but if you do have a glass sunroof and you leave it open all day and the UV rays penetrate throughout the day, then it may be an issue that's gonna, you know, have to be addressed within some time in the future. So this is a very easy to use product. All you have to do is, like I said, apply it on the clean surface. We have already cleaned our floor mats with Lightning Fast off camera. Now all we're gonna do is apply FabriGuard. And this is the easiest product that you can apply. All you gotta do is this. Simply spray it. Spray a nice coat, get it nice and even. And then all we're gonna do is let that sit for 20 minutes. 
Let that sit for 20 minutes. You come back within another 20 minutes once it's fully cured and dried. Apply a secondary coat to get that maximum UV protection and that waterproof properties. So once you do that, like I said, come back, apply another coat, and you're good to go. All right, guys, and there you have it. Just a short and sweet video on how to go ahead and protect your interior from those harsh UV summer days. So one pro tip I do want to leave you guys with is wipe your surfaces down with a microfiber towel once you finish applying these products. What is that going to do? That's going to go ahead and pick up any excess that you may have gone overboard with so that you don't have any kind of film that's on there. You can go ahead and wipe down your surfaces just to make sure that it doesn't have any leftover residue. And if let's say the VRP is a little bit too high of a shine for your preference, this is going to go ahead and tone down the shine just a bit just so that it's not as high gloss looking. And just like that, you've cleaned and you've protected your interior from the harsh UV rays. Like I said, now is the perfect time to do it just because the weather isn't so hot now. But believe me, once it does get hot, you're going to regret doing this while you're in your car, trying to clean your car and protect it while you're sweating all over the place. So do it now. Keep it protected now and in the future during those months. And then you can go in and redo it all over again once the summer's over, just to make sure that it's protected during the winter months and fall months as well. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you learned something new today, also make sure to leave it down in the comment section. As always, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe so that you see our videos and get notifications whenever we post. And as always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time.